Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be working on a crochet Barbie poncho, and we're going to start that in just a moment. Okay, so today we are going to be making a Barbie poncho. You are going to need some yarn. Today we're using Ice Cream Big Scoop. It is a three-ply lightweight yarn. Okay. Um, you are going to need scissors, darning needle, and I'm using a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. I made this clay handle so it helps my hands from not cramping so much. I'll put a link in the description to the tutorial on how to make different um, clay handles, okay, using polymer clay. So let's get started. We are going to cross our yarn and we are going to chain 24. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Then we're going to join with the slip stitch to that very first chain we made. There we go. And we're going to chain up three. One, two, three. This chain three counts as a double crochet. So now we're going to go and double crochet in the next two chains. So yarn over into the chain. Pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. That is a double crochet. Let's do it again. Yarn over into the chain, pull through, yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops. We are going to chain three. One, two, three. We are going to skip three. One, two, three. We're going to do a double crochet in that next chain, so in the fourth chain. One, two, three. We are going to chain three. One, two, three. We are going to skip three. And then we're going to do three double crochets in the next three chains. Three. Oops. Three. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip three. One, two, three. Double crochet in that next one. One. Come on now. Two. And three. We're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then we're going to skip those three and we're just going to slip stitch in the top of the chain three. Okay. Now we want to get to this space. So we're going to slip stitch into the next double crochet. Slip stitch into the next double crochet. And now we're going to slip stitch into the space. 
we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And this is going to count as a corner, okay? You'll see what I mean. So this is a double crochet. That chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to do two more double crochets in this space. One, two. We're going to chain two. One, two. And we're doing three more double crochets in that same space. One, two, three. Okay, so we've made a corner. Now we're just going to reach for the next space and we're going to put in three double crochets. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and we're doing three more double crochets into that space. One, two, three. Okay, so we made another corner. So now we're just going to reach over to the next one, next space. We're going to put three double crochets. One, two, three. Chain two, one, two, and then three double crochets in there. Two, three. Okay, so this is what we're getting. We're starting to get the shape of our poncho, and this is working from the neck down, okay? Reach across to the next space, Three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, three double crochet. Two, one, two, three. Okay, now we're just going to reach over to that other side and we're going to slip stitch in the top of the chain three. Okay. Okay, and we're just going to slip stitch till we get to this space. Okay, and then into the space. Okay, so now you see where our corners are, right? So we're in a corner now because we did the three. Okay, so we're going to chain up. One, two, three. We're going to do th two more double crochet because that chain three counts as a double crochet. We're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to put three more double crochet because that is a corner. One, two, three. Now we're going to reach to this space, but this space here is not a corner, so we're just going to put three double crochets in it. One, two, three. Now see this space has three, chain two, three in it, so this is a corner. So you see what's happening here? So we'll do three double crochet, one, two, three, Chain two, one, two, 
and then three double crochets. One, two, three. Now our next space is not a corner, so we're just putting three double crochets. Okay, so I hope you're getting this pattern now. So I want you to continue until you reach your, your beginning and then meet me back. Okay, so we're at the other end and I'm just gonna slip stitch into the top of that chain three slip stitch into it and then slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into that space we're going to chain up three one two three and we're going to keep going we're going to do a total of six rounds, okay? I want you to do six rounds and meet me back, okay? So do that, meet me back. Okay, so I'm done my eighth round. So see if I go from the top of the neck. One, two, three, four, five, or sorry, six, not eight. I said six. So this will fit like a poncho um, top if you want it a bit longer definitely add a few more rows okay so I just slip stitched into the top of that chain three I'm going to cut my yarn pull through now at this point you would hide your threads of course but you can decide if you want to put tassels on it or if you want to leave it. The thing with tassels is if you have little kids playing with this, sometimes they sit there and pick at it and they'll pull them out. So it, it's up to you. So next step I'm going to show you is we're going to make the tie for around the neck. Okay, so we're just going to cross our yarn and we're going to chain 60. So one two three four leave a little bit of a tail so you can tie on a pom-pom or whatever five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 50, woo, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. Okay, again, we're going to leave a bit of a tail. Pull your loop, your tail through your loop, and there we go. We've got the tie, and what you would do is you would just weave it through. Of course, this is after you've hidden your ends, which, as you can see, I have not done. Oops, and don't pull it too far through. Okay, so there you go. You have the tie for the poncho. And now 
we're going to do little, I think we'll do pom-poms. You could do tassels too, um, but I think I'm going to do pom-poms. So let me go get what I need for a pom-pom, and I'll be right back. Actually, you know what? This kind of needs to go around both of those so they can come out the same spot. Okay. Or maybe go through because I want it to come out the same spot. So maybe so it's anchored back here. Just put it between the Okay, don't pull it too far like I keep doing. And then you can go through here and then come out the same spot. You know what I'm saying here? So that way it's anchored and everything. Anyway, I'll be right back and we'll make a pom-pom together. Okay, so this is my way of making pom-poms. So you're going to want a length and a dessert fork okay because we're making a small pom-pom so you're putting a length of yarn through the middle time okay then we're gonna you're gonna need also some glue just any old glue will work and my lid is all clogged up but you'll just use it normally i'll show you i'm using a paintbrush but you don't need to use paintbrush so what we're going to do is we're going to start wrapping our yarn around the fork. Okay. And then in the middle, we're going to take, and this is if you have people like little kids or whatever, picking at pom poms, we're going to put a dab of glue in the middle on both sides, just the middle. Hope you can see that. Oh, I'm out of camera. Sorry just in the middle okay and then we're going to start wrapping again and we're going to cover up all that glue with yarn and then when that's done and take a little bit more glue and we're just going to go in the middle can you see me And again, we're just going to wrap around the glue. And I don't know how many wraps I've done. I just keep going until I don't feel like it. So that's about good because we don't want too big of a pom-pom. So then I'm going to snip it. And now taking so this, we're going to pull tight. Now, this, this that we had... This yarn that we had put on before, we're going to take and bring it to the middle. And then we're going to tie it really tight. Okay, and we're just going to shimmy that up a bit. And now I'm going to feed one end through the fork. One side goes through the tine. Move that up a bit. Get the other part. Put it through the fork. I'll also put a link for this pom-pom in the description um, in case I go out of frame too much. Okay, and then I tie this really tight again. And I double knot it, and now we have to use our scissors. Well, actually, we can pop it right off so our scissors can get. And I'm holding those tails, okay? Because those are what you tie it on with. So we're just going to cut the loops. 
Make sure you got them all. There we go. Okay, so then I'll go to the other side. Same thing, cut all the loops. Make sure you got them all. Oh, I missed one there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm still holding those ends, right? Now we'll just want to trim this. want to tidy it up. So see there's some there that's and there's one there that's too long. Some up here. Anyway, we want it nice and fluffy. And just tidy it up. Anytime you see somewhere that needs to be tidied up, just tidy it up. going out of focus okay so I'll make it I mean it is handmade so it can be a little bit so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back to your ties and you want them threaded through because once you tie on the pom-pom then you won't be able to pull it through the hoop the loops anymore right well at least that's the theory so you tie it on nice and tight. I always do extra ties. Okay, so tie it really good. Extra ties, tie, tie, tie. And then we're going to want to cut our ties so that they look like they're part of the pom-pom. Okay, again, sorry, just, you know, fluff up your pom-pom. And there you go, you got one of your pom-poms. And then when you make your bow, there you go, you have a cute little pom-pom. Okay, so make the other pom-pom just like we did. And I think that'll be it. Well, I can show you how to make tassels. Maybe this one I won't have tassels and the next one I will. So anyway, so do that, hide your threads, make your other pom-pom, meet me back. Okay guys, so there you go. That is our Barbie poncho. If you decide you wanna put tassels, you can put tassels. Um, I'll probably leave a, a comment in the description if you want me to show you what it would look like if I put tassels, but uh, there you go, guys. Isn't that adorable? Of course, if you're like me, you'll fuss and fiddle with the pom-pom, like with the ties until you get the perfect look. But there you go. Isn't it adorable? I love it. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And... <clears throat> Check the description. I'll have links to my Etsy store, which has patterns, all different kinds of patterns and such in it. I will try and write up this pattern um, soon. 
look for it in the description. They don't happen right away because I quite often do the videos um, beforehand and then I do the patterns later on because I make things up as I go. So, yeah. Okay, I should stop messing with it and just let you look. That is our finished product. I think it's adorable. I also will put a link in the description for the pom-pom tutorial as well as a tassel tutorial if you don't want to use pom-poms on the end. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.